Okay, so at the end of the last video, we had finished up doing a confidence interval. Um, but now we need to figure out how to do a confidence bounds. Okay, so let's take a second and look at what we did before. So let's go to distribution. Let's go to the T distribution and let's plot it this time. So I'm going to plot. So 237 was our degrees of freedom. I'm going to do the quantiles and from 0 0.015 to 0.985. And I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and let me pull it over so this is what we did when we did our two tail check this out we've got these two little tails off on the side where we have decided to throw our error or basically you know we're, we're willing to be wrong sometimes above and sometimes below um, from our confidence interval of, of, of what we have okay so now sometimes we only care about having our error on one side or the other so, for example, Gary might be wanting to brag to another city um, and saying that, hey, you know what, we are 97% confident that, that our gardeners make at least so much. Okay, so if we need to do that, we need to adjust um, kind of our picture. Let's, let me show you what we're actually going to be doing now. So we'll go back to distributions, T. Let's go to our... Uh, plotting again and this time we're going to say plot to we'll color that out and then we'll do point zero three so we've put all of our error to the low end and then we're going to say two well just for these purposes we'll do like 3.3 okay it's in fact goes forever but 3.3 for right now and we're going to click okay And it did not like what I tried to do. Okay, let's try this again. Sorry, we'll do uh, 0.99. I think that's what I was angry at. And we'll do 3. And click OK. Okay, there we go. So now I've put all of my error into one tail. And... And so this is, yeah, so I've put all of my error into one tail. All 3% is right here. Okay. So in this, with this distribution, I'd be able to say that, hey, I am 97% confident that I am greater, or that our, uh, our gardens have a greater yield on average than whatever this lower cutoff point is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of uh, these two we weren't using those we were just using this for our confidence interval so let's now talk about confidence bounds confidence bounds okay we still need confidence level and then we go into two directions so this is for confidence bounds for being able to say like greater than here, I'll put that over here greater than some value and then this is the confidence bound when we say less than, sorry, less than some value. Okay, so we've got a confidence bounds is equal to, okay, it's very similar. X bar, this time it's going to be minus T crit, which is just now just alpha, instead of alpha divided by 2, just alpha, degrees of freedom. And now we're going to multiply by S divided by the square root of n. Okay, so what we did is, let's go back to our picture. So now, since we're throwing all of our error, remember alpha is basically our error, we're throwing it all to one side, so we don't have to divide it by two anymore. So we're gonna use this confidence bounds. When we wanna say greater than, we've gotta go less than our x bar so that we can say that this is the lowest point that we think, and we think that we are greater than that. So it's a little counterintuitive that there's a minus sign when we talk about greater than, um, but if you look at the pictures, it really does make sense. So I'm going to copy this guy. And, oh, sorry, we'll paste those in. And the only difference here is the plus. Okay, so now we're doing this confidence bounds. We can use some of this material that, that we have, but we can't use it all. The, ma the major thing that we need to do is take out, this is the T-critical this is for the confidence interval, and now we need to look at it for, let's do a confidence bound T-critical. 
Kubo T crypt. Okay, so back to our commander distributions, T distribution, quantiles. Okay, so instead of tossing this all to one side or, or to two sides, we need to toss all of that alpha to one side. So we know that alpha is still 0 0.03. Degrees of freedom are the same. We're going to click OK. Come over here. We're going to copy this critical. I'm ignoring the minus sign because I'll deal with the sign in the actual equation. This is just how many standard deviations I need to be. Okay, so now this is my confidence bound. And this is a lower end. And for this lower, it's going to be equal to, let's just follow this equation, because this is the guy that we actually need right now. Let me hit escape real quick. And we will go ahead and highlight that. This is the one that we need, because we want to say, so Gary wants to brag about, sorry, being greater than some value. Okay, so now we've got our T critical. We need to figure out this lower bound. Okay, so we're going to say equals x bar minus t critical multiplied by the standard error. And we can hit equals. Okay, and we've got this like 19.4. Okay, so now when we do the confidence bound, let me bring this like way the way over or down so that we're not confused about it being a part of the confidence interval. So now that, that I've got these guys, I'm going to say that this is a one-tailed confidence bound. And here's what I'm going to say. We are 97% confident you know what, I'm, I'm actually going to copy most of this. We are 97% confident that the true average yield for Gardner's and Gary's City is, and I'm going to copy that because it's the exact same thing until the very end. So instead of saying is between two values, now we can just say that it's greater than. So here we go, we'll say is greater than um, 19.5. Point four, yeah, we'll do four pounds. So coming back to our picture, we are 97% confident that the true average yield for gardeners in Gary City is greater than 19.4 pounds. So now we're able to see the differences between our confidence interval. Remember, we've got two values on our interval plus or minus, and that's, we've got this alpha divided by two, throwing our error to two sides, or our confidence bound, we can throw all of the error to either the upper or the lower end. And we're able to make a little bit different conclusion. So anyways, I hope that helps you out. Good luck.